Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna review the brand new Balboa Climate Zone 2 mini air source heat pump. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I've just had some information through about the brand new Balboa Climate Zone 2 mini air source heat pump, so I thought that I would put together this review. Now, just as total disclaimer here, this review is based around the information that has been sent to me, it's based around manufacturer specifications, and it's based around my general knowledge of air source heat pumps in the market. Now, the opinions on this video are all my own, of course. So with that out of the way, now I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on this channel focuses around DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts and, and pretty much everything in between. Right, with that out of the way, let's jump into the review on the brand new Balboa Climate Zone 2 mini air source heat pump. So what is it? Well, as the name suggests, it's a mini air source heat pump, so it has a small footprint. It's got a really low operating noise at 45 decibels. It comes with two inch unions. And with this unit, Balboa are clearly looking for both the retrofit and the new build markets. So having taken a look at the specifications, what are the standout features of this unit for me? Well, firstly, the unit heats and it cools as well, which is a pretty useful feature, certainly when this releases in the States. I know a lot of my customers like to be able to chill down their hot tubs in the summer months to use them as cold plunge pools as well. However, over in Europe, certainly in the UK, we don't get the temperatures, so we aren't cooling them down that much. So whether that feature will be used, who knows? However, being able to both heat and cool is definitely an advantage for this unit. As I've said, its output is four kilowatts. For me, I think that might be a bit low. I'll come on to that shortly. It is rated to minus five Celsius. So that is quite a good rating. And Balboa state that it is compatible with all of the BP units. However, I will come on to that point as well because I like to expand certainly on the compatibility, whereas most of what I do is in the retrofit market. So if you're looking to add one of these, keep watching as I'm gonna cover this very shortly. Okay, so I find it quite confusing when manufacturers say compatible with our BP systems. Now, if you're familiar with the Balboa range, the BP Spa Packs have been the main range of products for a number of years. Now, I have one on my own tub, love it, works really well, super reliable, and I am a big fan of Balboa Spa Packs and topside controls. However, if any of you watched my video, it was about 18 months ago now, when I reviewed the original Climate Zone heat pump, my bugbear with that unit was the compatibility as well. It just wasn't compatible with enough models. So have Balboa fixed that with their new offering? In my opinion, unfortunately not. Now, I'm not going to go through and name all of the models that are compatible with this new Climate Zone 2 Mini air source heat pump. I'm going to list them behind me here. So as you can see, the list is not particularly extensive. Now, I did go and check the serial number or the model number of my own Balboa BP unit. I've got a BP601. I've got a first generation BP601, and this isn't compatible. So if I wanted to use this on my own hot tub, I couldn't use it in the way that Balboa are describing, which is plugging it into the pack itself. Next on compatibility is the topside controls. Now, the super popular TP600 unit isn't compatible. Here's a list of the models that are compatible. There's not a huge amount of those either. So if you're looking to fully integrate this, into your hot tub, your spa pack, and control it all through your top side controls, you're gonna need a pretty new hot tub, which is gonna rule out many of you that are looking to upgrade older models. Now I do understand we can't have perpetual compatibility and backward compatibility. However, it would be nice to be able to, to use certainly some of the more popular top side controls. The, the TP600 is a hugely popular model, but it just doesn't work with this heat pump. 
So what are my thoughts on this unit from my initial look at the specifications and, and everything that I've read about it? Well, again, if you've watched other videos, I've got loads of videos on this channel about air source heat pumps, then you'll know that I always like the larger air source heat pumps. I put a 21 kilowatt air source heat pump on my own tub. Yes, it's 2,700 liters, but for me, I wanted a quick heat up time and I still wanted a good heat output in the winter months. So obviously with air source heat pumps, when the temperature drops, the output from the unit drops as well. Regardless of what it's rated to, the output is gonna drop because the unit will find it harder to harvest the heat from the air. Now, this brings me on to the first concern that I have with the Balboa Climate Zone 2 mini air source heat pump is that it's only a four kilowatt unit. And looking at the specifications, that four kilowatts is rated at 27 degrees Celsius. That's really warm outside. Over in Europe, we don't get that very often, certainly in the UK. Jump down and take a look at it at a more palatable 15 Celsius, and you're looking at around two and a half kilowatts output. So that's lower than what you're gonna get out of your three kilowatt heater, which is found in, in most hot tubs. Certainly the older hot tubs will have a three kilowatt heater. So you're gonna get less heat. All right, it's gonna cost you a lot less to run, but it's gonna take you longer to heat up. So it's definitely something to think about on that front. Also for me, the compatibility is definitely an issue. I deal almost exclusively with the retrofit side of things for air source heat pumps. Yes, in my design builds, I put those in as well, but it's, it's slightly different. For the regular hot tubs, so if you have a plastic shell tub, do check exactly what spa pack you have inside. Check what topside controller you have, because if you're looking to add this unit to your hot tub, you've got to make sure that it's going to be compatible. Now let's get on to cost. What is this unit actually going to cost? Well, I'm not exactly certain of the MSRP of the unit. However, a quick Google around the internet and I found that there were some sites offering this for around about a thousand pounds, including VAT. So that's pretty expensive for a four kilowatt air source heat pump. For me, I think I have a much better offering for you in the form of the VM Power C5 air source heat pump. Now, there is a C5 Plus, but I'm gonna focus on the cheaper and lower spec C5 for this comparison. So firstly, it's a five kilowatt air source heat pump. So you're outputting more heat at top speed or so you're outputting more heat when it's running on full power than the Balboa Climate Zone 2 mini air source heat pump, which is only four kilowatts. Now, I wanna look at the output at specific temperatures, most notably that 15 Celsius that I spoke about earlier in this video. At 15 Celsius, the VM Power C5 will output 4.72 kilowatts of heat. So you're getting more heat than at 27 degrees on the Balboa Climate Zone 2 mini air source heat pump. But what really clinched it for me is the fact that the VM Power C5 is 250 quid cheaper than the Balboa Climate Zone 2 Mini Air Source Heat Pump. As I've Googled around, I supply the C5 for 750 quid delivered, and I did find on the web that people were offering the Balboa Climate Zone 2 Mini for around about that thousand pound mark. So 250 quid cheaper, you're getting more heat out at lower temperatures. For me, I think it's a no brainer. Again, just to clarify, all the views in this video are very much my own. I haven't seen the unit in person. I'm going purely off specifications, but as always, I, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.